far this evening. Just that solitary goal with our two goals in the first division. Now Kerry City have taken the lead against at Lone Town. Here's Jamie Gullen. Gullen with Diallo for company. Plenty of players back in navy blue, but Gullen gets the shot away. And it's straight into the hands of Brian Maher, who just has to drop down to collect it. But there was good fizz in the effort. Yeah, he did well there, Gullen on the edge of the box. Good, good strength initially to hold off the yellow. Sorts his feet out then, he puts it back onto his left foot. Ball gone up. Good power end. McMullen in close attendance here as a second option for Derry. It'll be tough, his right foot though to send it over, Mark Connolly on the move in there, plenty of big options as John said and it's found one and it's in the back of the net and Derry City have a lead goal here first goal of the evening on 16 minutes and it's Derry City who have it it's St Ocknell, Derry City won they're just talking with all the, the big men, it's probably the smallest man in the park who, who gets the header on it I think it's Mullen is it he gets just a free header Danny Mullen, Danny yeah. Mullen yeah Standing on his own in around the penalty spot, he, he made it lovely, got good, good power on it. It was a good ball in by Michael Duffy in, into space, and all the big men were, were looked after. Danny Mullet. He just shook off his defender, and really, really good header. His eighth goal in 30 appearances for Derry City, and two of those, rather, three of those goals now have City's come the against Dundalk. And Shelburne also joint at the top at the moment. Here's Dervin. And now Jamie Gullen. Gullen, no offside flag. Gullen, can he take advantage? He can't. He's thrashed that across the face of goal. Jamie Gullen. And that was an opportunity for the Scotsman. Six goals this season, but yet to experience scoring one in front of the Dundalk home support, and he mightn't get a better chance tonight, John. No, uh, this time it's a really good ball by Eo Davin. Just to take that touch out of your feet, he's done it. Whelan, Mountney, now Michael Duffy. Diallo has it stolen by Dervin. Here's Horgan now. Hakiki is at the front post, and it's in towards Hakiki's header. And Brian Maher, it's within reaching distance for Brian Maher to collect it fairly comfortably but a good start to the second half by the Lily Whites yeah it, it's a good press as well and they were bravely pushed up and there he didn't allow them out and Daryl Hogan is down the line puts in a decent ball just he started the better Connolly. side in that first half but Dundalk grew into the game here's Michael Duffy though, to try and put the game beyond the Lily Whites reach Duffy good cross in by Michael Duffy met at the back post by O'Reilly pushed away by Ross Monroe Here's McMullen to go again now for Derry City. McMullen's cross in towards Duffy, headed away by John Mountney, and the volley from Diallo pushed away by Monroe. A real flurry of activity around the Dundalk penalty area, but they've managed to repel it for the moment. Really, really good play with both Derry City wingers there, getting down to either, either line, dink ball to the back post. And at this time, Duffy Mountney heads Danny. it out. And the or Paul McMullen over this free kick here. Or corner kick, rather. Here's McMullen. Now Duffy, chance to shoot here for Michael Duffy. And he was allowed one, two, three seconds to size that one up. It's come off a Dundalk player and gone behind. He's, he's come the whole way into the box, almost 12, 14 yards from, from the near post, unchallenged. He's taken a touch, he's looked up, still nobody out of him. By Keane, Wisdom blocks it. Patching's header down to Duffy. Mullen, patching first time in behind Anamasa. And there's space there for Duffy to go into. Duffy's cross in. McMullen saved by Monroe. And that was Dundalk season. And tenure in the top flight over in that instant. But somehow Ross Monroe has kept that out and kept it alive. Fabulous counter-attack. There is, it's Will Patches plays the ball in behind. And Duffy looks up. Sees McMullen in there. Great ball in. Just Frame gets that, that away. Home. Duffy again. Right-footed outside of the boot. Dara Keane blocks it. Here's Boyce. Duffy again, back down for McMullen. Good ball into the feet of Patchy. Tries to reverse the ball, and that's going to be a penalty kick for Derry City. And Michael Can Duffy, he? repeat the dose here. It's Will Patchy. Strides backwards, strides forwards, and it's 2 0. Easy as you like, Will Patchy. And 77 minutes. Derry City's grip on the three points tightens, and Dundalk's grip. 
on a place in the Premier Division loosens. Dundalk nil, Derry City 2. Yeah, goal was created by Patching. Great little back heel into Michael Duffy's path. He was just too quick a foot for Robbie Benson. He swiped at the ball, took him down. And then Will Patching stood up, so confident. Just strolled up to the ball, waited for Monroe to move, and then just slotted it down the side. Brilliant penalty. Well, Derry City. You see here, it was a great run by Duffy off the ball, in behind Keane. Quick feet, and he just hacked down with Robbie Benz, just, just mistimed it. And Will Patrick, so calm, and so touches it. Good Absolutely. One. And the up, holds him up sufficiently and wins the throw in for Dundalk. We've had the five minutes of stoppage time. Referee with the final whistle of the match and the final whistle, whistle really of Dundalk's status as a Premier Division club in the League of Ireland. With two games to spare, it's confirmed that Dundalk will go down to the First Division next season. And it's a disappointing end to the 2024 season for these Dundalk players. A really good night for Derry City. They've stayed in the hunt for the title from their perspective. Final score here from Oriel Park. It's finished Dundalk nil, Derry City 2.